Most complimented and sexiest perfumes for women. Rating perfumes TikTok made me buy, and as always, this is just my opinion. No one is right or wrong when it comes to perfume. I like it, it's sweet, but it just falls kind of flat. This one is super sweet, almost too sweet, and it doesn't really last long. I love Coco Mademoiselle, but I have to spray a good bit of it to smell it. I'm giving it points for the bottle, but it just smells like the Walmart bathroom to me. I love Cloud, 10 out of 10. I could wear it every day. I can't smell this shit at all, so points for the bottle because it's pretty in the sunlight. I have to be in a certain mood to wear this, but it does last forever. 10 out of 10 smells just like Baccarat for a fraction of the price. I like this, but I'm not in love with it. I actually prefer the Legere version. This lasts a long time, but the Tuberose is just a tad overpowering. I have never exited TikTok so fast in my life to purchase something as when I saw this last week. I am so sorry to whoever posted about this. I do not have your name to tag you. Like I said, I literally exited the app, boom, clicked, bought in two seconds. Oh my God, it smells so good already. Um, So you know Diptyque, right? The super expensive and famous uh, candle company. Now maybe this is gimmicky, maybe it'll change my life, but they have, look at this. Oh my God, a perfumed bracelet. Like you break it off and you make bracelets and it smells like that candle. Ooh. So I think you open the, yeah, you open the top and there's string in there. Oh my God. And you pull that out. Uh, Voulez-vous coucher, it's all in French. Here we go. I think it has like a little blade. Does it have a little blade in there? And you just, oh. oh. Now I think you make two knots at the end. Oh, I really hope this fits my wrist. I don't want to waste any. And that goes in the little thing here. Okay, we got one side. God damn it, it's like a bracelet for babies. Shit. Ooh. Oh my God, I got it on. It smells amazing. I smell like a rich I would gatekeep if I had. Mean girl. Energy. I had a video about this go viral and sold it out everywhere. Everyone has this now for a reason. This is what I would wear if I wanted people to think I didn't wear perfume and just naturally smell good. Fragrance oil so good. The perfect gender neutral citrus. I keep crawling back to this scent like it's a toxic ex. Want to smell like a fairy with a secret? Me too. This is the one for you. I wore this for three days in a row when I got it. It's the perfect balance between second skin musk and pear. You're an awful person. Maybe. But I'm rich and I'm pretty, so it doesn't really matter. Okay hey guys, today I'm sharing three perfumes that have downright angel energy. These are perfumes that I just think smell like effortless beauty, like who is that girl? Is that just what her skin smells like? Is she just perfect? If that's what you're going for, then keep watching. First we have 1111 from Lake and Sky and the matching perfume oil. And this is a blend of white amber and musk. It is so pretty. It literally smells like the essence of a cloud. If you want to just be a cloud, you need this. Next we have Pindrose Pillow Talk Poet. This is a very powdery, musky perfume, very sweet with an amber dry down, a little bit of sandalwood, and it is so stunning. Like I can't even tell you how stunning it is. It settles in beautifully on the skin. This is perfect for everybody. Lastly, I will include a lilac a day from Vilhelm Perfumery because anybody that smells like an entire lilac bush is an angel, period, no questions asked. hurting inside because he shitted on me and finally got shitted on and imagine that imagine that